In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up things on Dreamweaver. Here we're using Dreamweaver MX 2004. And like I mentioned earlier and in other videos, you don't necessarily have to worry about using Dreamweaver MX 2004, but to follow along exactly with what I do, you can do that. You can install it. Grab the trial if you don't have Dreamweaver on your machine. It's very easy to get started. And I think the what you see is what you get interface is going to be very nice and rewarding for you. The first thing you normally do is go up to your sites and manage your sites. Now, I already have a site here, but you would click new if you wanted to place a new site here and then start off with a site. There's a basic configuration, but really the advanced way of looking at things is definitely the way to go because you can see this category view. All right, so I'm going to edit this instead of clicking new because when I edit, I can see what I have here already and you can follow along and do similar things if you're on the Mac or the PC. Now when I run through my examples I have this set up in an external folder structure but to follow along with what I've shown you with the installation videos you're going to want to find that program files folder WAMP folder www for your document root and then your learning PHP folder here for the local root folder and that's here in the local information. Name the site as you wish. That's just a header there for that Manage Sites window. So you can just navigate to that and find it and you'll see all the folders here that are part of that particular website. You'll also have to select your Images folder and as you can see that's just one folder nested down within the Learning PHP folder. That's all you need to do there. And then for your HTTP address, you're going to put localhost, like I mentioned, your IP address if you're using that, or the 127.0.0.1. Now, if you just copied those files into your main document root folder there, then you're just going to put in localhost. But if you're following along with the site configuration video where I recommended to use the additional folder here, this is recommended. Use learning underscore PHP and that's where it's going to point to and then you can access that via the browser of course but then Dreamweaver is also going to be able to show you some preview files and things like that and it's going to know where things are in relation to the local root folder the options of enabling cache that's up to you some of the other settings are up to you as well but you can enable that the remote information you can just select local network and then that same folder structure here as your local information. Testing server, because you want to be able to test the PHP itself, you're going to select the server model, which is PHP MyAdmin, and then local network, or as you wish, of course. Testing server folder in most cases is going to be the same. Really what we're doing here is because these scripts are executable scripts. They're not exe files. They're not programs but they're going to execute. They're going to be parsed by the server and they're going to actually do something before it's delivered to the browser. So straight HTML gets delivered to the browser. You don't need a server model here, but because we're going to be testing actual PHP files, we want our PHP to actually get parsed so it's going to be sent back to the browser after anything that we do in PHP is rendered into HTML. So that's important to set this up. And again, the URL prefix would be copied exactly as you see here. So we can copy that here. Cloaking if you want to hide files and folders, but this is something of an advanced option here. You don't have to even worry about any of these other options here. You can turn off design notes if you want to. And the other things are going to be up to you. But the basics are what I mentioned here for local, remote, and testing. Now once you do that, you might have all the files rendered here in this area here. Check this out here for all the files that you're going to be able to use. This is exactly what you see in the folder structure except now you can manipulate things within Dreamweaver. Now if we just take a look at any of these examples here, we'll select web forms and form validations. You'll see the code split and design view. In the design view, you're really going to see what you see is what you get. Look here, very close to what you're going to see in the browser. 
if we select any of the examples, they're all very similar. This is just the web forms file. And here we're looking at form validation, so we'll just pick this particular file, webforms.php. That's down here. And you'll see that it looks very similar except for all the additions that you have for PHP and hidden fields and things like that. But this is going to be very close to what you see in the browser. So it's what you see is what you get. And then of course you can have split view and the code view. I just have my font set up to be very very large and bold so you can really clearly see everything. And you can see Dreamweaver has a nice effect of having very very nice color coding here. Check out the PHP editors video and you can see other editors that you might want to try. And if you want to manipulate the fonts here you can go into your preferences and you can take a look at that. You see we have code coloring and also code formatting and other ways that you can actually manipulate that. That's up to you to take a look at that. But this is just setting it up in Dreamweaver and you can follow along quite nicely.